September 11, 2001. Everyone knows where they were on that day because it was a day of tragedy, but it was also a day of heroism. Heroism from first, first responders like we have here in downtown Raleigh. That day was a day I'll never forget because I was, I was Mayor of Charlotte that day. And when the second plane hit, I was watching on live TV, along with the rest of the nation and much of the world. And immediately, my thoughts were toward who was on that plane. Were they from North Carolina? Were they from Charlotte? Thankfully, within a short period of time, I got a call from US Airways, which said that all our planes are accounted for. They're all on the ground. My heart just sank because I was concerned about everyone who was on those planes that hit the World Trade Center that day and also crashed in Pennsylvania and hit the Pentagon. But the thing I remember most about the next 24 hours were the first responders who risked their lives with absolutely no hesitation to go into the World Trade Center or to the Pentagon to save lives with no thought of the risk to their own lives. And it made us all realize that the first responders, regardless of where we live or work, we're willing to do that for us. And that's why today on September 11th, we need to remember and never take for granted the first responders. I was reminded of the special uniqueness of first responders when I was entering the state legislature for my first state of the state speech as the 74th governor of the great state of North Carolina. Right before I walked in the house chambers, I was told of a possible shooting in Durham of a state trooper. I had to proceed on and, and give my very first State of the State speech. Immediately upon leaving that speech, I asked what was the condition of the trooper. And they said, he's still alive, but he was shot in the face. He was shot several other times. And his family's with him right now in the Durham Hospital. We immediately got in the car to go see State Trooper Michael Potts, a man that I had never met before in my life. His family was there, his colleagues were there, everyone was praying for his survival and his quick recovery. It is Michael Potts and other first responders, whether it be in the Raleigh Fire Department or the State Highway Troopers, that I want to say thank you to. It means so much for us to have you at a moment's notice to risk your life. And I just want to say you're appreciated and we'll never take you for granted. God bless every one of you, and may God continue to bless the great state of North Carolina and our great nation.